the genie. Come on, she's getting away. <laughs> ah! This is your last hour. Defend your land. Ooh. <laughs> Beware of evil wizard Rumi. She can destroy us. That is only if she's done running. <laughs> Oh no, that's the immortal's favorite face. Uh, do you think he's going to notice? Oh great, we should not have come in here. We know we aren't allowed to play in his office. Oh dear. He is not going to be happy when he sees this. <sighs> no more Grunwald's Gardens field trip. He won't see it. I'll do a quick repairing spell. Earth, water, fire, air, they have the power to repair. You oh, did yay. it! Oh, well done, Rooney! That was great! <gasps> Who could that be? <gasps> How cute! It's a genie! Do you think he grants wishes? Mm -hmm. I call dibs on genie! Listen, I'll wish first. I wish for... Uh, no, I wish for that... Uh, what kind of wish should I wish for? Hold on, Rooney. There are different kinds of genes. <gasps> oh, no. I think he found something in there and ate it. Oh, that's not good. Who cares? A genie that little can't be a big problem. But we don't know if he could become one. Lisa, let's go to the library and find mm -hmm. out how to put that genie back in the vase. You three, find the genie and distract him. And don't tell the immortal. <gasps> he ate my candy! <laughs> my gingerbread as well. Well, yes, he probably hasn't eaten for a thousand years. Here, little genie. <laughs> Have some unpredictable cupcakes. <laughs> and dried plumberries. <laughs> this genie's no big deal. He probably went somewhere else to eat. <gasps> the kitchen! Oh. <laughs> yes, our little problem's not so little now. Girls, maybe we should tell the immortal everything before it gets worse. And before the consequences get bigger. Here's a consequence for you. There won't be anything left for lunch if the genie finishes off all our soup. Lure him to the greenhouse. It's full of apples. Doma. Can you conjure up a delicious red herring? <laughs> oh, yeah! Those apples will last him a while. Uh oh. Our little problem's gotten so much larger. Uh, want an apple? I've got one here. The drawer is still locked. Do you have the key on you? Shame on you, Archie. Nobody but you could have taken the cookies. So why did you do it? They were his favorite. They had coconut flakes, for the record. It wasn't Archie! The genie ate them! We were accidentally playing in your office and then we accidentally released the genie and then we didn't want to tell you because he was so cute! Okay, reverse spell, stop! Uh There's a genie? The genie from my vase? He'll gobble up our entire stockpile. Okay, Lisa, ready. Pudding, buns, cake! Hey, we figured it out! It's a glutton genie! He's really hungry because he's been hibernating for a thousand years, and he won't go back to sleep until he's eaten all his favorite treats. Lisa, have the tablecloth make some hot cocoa. Mr. Immortal, is this really the right time for hot cocoa? It's not mine. It's to give to the genie. That's always been his favorite. He'll take a sip and go right off to sleep. Mug of hot cocoa! Hmm. <sighs> now, back to your home. Uh, yay! <laughs> Shh, don't wake him up.
them up. We're sorry, Mr. Immortal. The more we hoped the little genie would just keep being small, the bigger that he got. Oh, and it ate our lunch and our dinner. And Archie got in trouble for nothing. The whole harvest disappeared. That's how problems are. The more you try to hide them, the bigger and bigger they get. Like a gluttonous genie. So when a problem happens like this, you should come and tell us right away. Yes, then we can work together to fix whatever it is. Mr. Immortal, I guess you don't want to take us on the field trip to Grunwald's Gardens anymore. After all this... Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> if I didn't, where else would we go to get seeds to replace our harvest? Yay! Wish granted! And we didn't need a genie. <laughs> a walk in the woods. First, we'll show them the blue crow's nest. They're sure to like that. And then we'll treat them to the sweetest raspberries. Uh-huh. They'll be so busy licking their fingers, they won't realize they're already at the firefly glade. And here, the frog chorus, along with Lisa, will give a special concert. I hope you all will enjoy it. Oh, of course we'll enjoy it. Plus, they've seen everything at the school. Ten times over. <sighs> all that's left to do is double-check the route. Want some? Plumberry with a hint of unpredictability. Mm -hmm. if you'll continue this way, here we have the nesting place of the Blue Crow. It looks like the crow has relocated and took the nest with it. It took the entire tree. Come back! How are we supposed to run an excursion here if the trees won't stand still? These tracks, they're odd. They don't look like roots. Maybe Baba Yaga left them. What? I see that dainty. It's elegant. I didn't steal the bird. And besides, I'm having the day off. <gasps> Look at that. What is it? Someone's stealing the raspberry bush. Where are you taking our raspberries? We haven't shown them to the boys yet. <gasps> Whoever that was, he clearly knows his magic and the best spots in our forest. If this carries on, there'll be nothing left to show Levon and Vosco. We have to do something. Dorma and Lisa, you take the Firefly Meadow. The three of us will check the pond. The fireflies flew away at the speed of light. But look at these tracks. What kind of feet would leave these way out here? <gasps> Roots like feet, knobby knees, you'll find him midst the trees. I know who it is. <gasps> Who's that? Whoever that is, he can't have the pond. Princesses, let's go. Keep your branches off our pond. <gasps> That's a bog. I'll just squelch back. Well, that was a slick move. Don't worry. How's this for slick? Time for fire. Helen, ready your eyes. Stop! It's Leshy, the forest spirit, the protector of trees and bees. Takes care of the forest, so everyone familiar with forest knows you should make friends with Leshy. Wait ah! here. <gasps> he means only good. Don't get too close. What if he eats her? <gasps> Greetings, spirit of the wood. We live as friends as people should. Mm -hmm. A daughter of Woodstream? Lisa Oakengrove. That may be. But why then, Miss Oakengrove, are you and your friends hurting the forest? Actually, we were saving it. From you. Oh, from me? <laughs> we certainly weren't hurting it. We weren't lighting fires or burning leaves. Oh, isn't this yours? Predictberry and Plumberry. We did drop some litter. Candy wrappers are so small. Could they really hurt this big forest? Didn't I hear you were planning an excursion? Well then, come on. We'll take a walk and I'll show you. Here, all living things are connected. 
The blue crow loves the raspberry bush. The raspberry bushes need clean water from the stream. Fireflies love the damp spots near the water. And the stream runs out of the pond. And if candy wrappers fall into the pond, even if it's the most delicious candy in the world, this lovely stream could dry up. And then the fireflies will fly away, the raspberry bush will wither, and the crow will have nothing to eat. That's why I moved the crow to another bush. The raspberries to the stream, and the fireflies closer to the water. Now, do you understand? Yes! We won't ever drop litter in the forest. That's good. Now for Lisa's concert. I would be honored to join the audience if Yay, I were. Yay, of course! <laughs> For the concert, please tell me when you give another. And while I'm not here, I ask you, please respect the forest. Like a grown up. Almost there. Hidden by magic lock and key, a room that only grown ups see. <gasps> there are secret rooms in our school? Yes, we store important documents in here. If they got mixed up, it would cause an awful lot of confusion. <laughs> We might get ordinary sticks instead of magical wands, or schedule exams instead of holidays. That's why this room is for grown-ups only. Amazing! And I thought that I knew every room in this school. Don't forget to water the flowers in the small greenhouse! We have another greenhouse? We do, but it's off-limits to children. <sighs> off-limits to children? I wonder what interesting things they keep there. Rare plants in the greenhouse, ancient spells in the records room. <sighs> If only we were grown-ups. I do need a refresher on the verbs. Is it ne ie or ne ie? It's a shame. If only Marlene could join us for the unicorn language course. Yes, but Marlene is the assistant principal. She can only be replaced by an adult magician. And where would we find one? Me? I could serve as the assistant principal. Or more like assistant assistant. That is out of the question. Rather, it would be out of the question. But this is Daria. I think she could handle it. You can definitely handle this. The assistant principal doesn't have many responsibilities. Here's a short list. Mm. Here is the assistant principal's badge and the key to the small <gasps> greenhouse. What are the flowers? But don't let the begonia get out. You'll also need to pick the ripe letters in the records room. The post squirrel will be coming for them. Um... Keep an eye on the others. After all, you're in charge. And if anything goes wrong, you can take off the badge. I'll rush right back to help you. No way. I don't need any help. Hello there. I am the adult magician who will be watering you today. I hope we grow to like each other. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. Ah, are you the assistant principal? Yes, are you the smile of the closet? No, I'm the records room sigh. No time to smile, only sigh. We're very serious here. Letters, invoices, reports. These all require your signature. That's it? Don't you have anything more exciting in here? Like ancient prophecies? And 
Maybe you have a secret encyclopedia I can read? I'm old enough to read them now. <sighs> Give me a moment. The most interesting thing I have to offer you is the manual for a kettle. Like to see? Uh, uh, a report on grades. A report on the dishes. <sighs> a report on reports. Oh, how exciting! We received an invitation to THE Songbirds concert. We must respond quickly. They need a list of who will be attending the concert. <sighs> okay, so we have... Rooney, Dorma, Vasco, Levan... Oh, the Begonia! How did it get out? How does Marlene handle this thing? Let me check the manual. Aha! If the Begonia escapes, pour the anti-growth elixir from the red bottle on it. I made a mistake, but I fixed it. Like a grown-up. Not to mention, I took care of the documents. I barely got the letters to the boss squirrel. Too bad we won't all be going to the concert. Even though I would have loved to hear Songbird perform live. Oh, I didn't finish the response letter. I messed up again. I'm not very good at this. Oh, the Seven League Boots! Daria, Daria! Our kite got stuck and we can't get it down. Can you please help us out? Dorma, I really don't have time for that right now. Don't worry. We've got this. Wind could get it down. What about the storm spell? Oh, this is a speedy postal service. Mr. Postman, please wait for me. I really need to finish writing my letter. <sighs> and now... We can all attend. Oh, I need a break. Somebody, please, help us! We wanted our kite back, so we used the spell. But the storm got out of control. But why? We're not supposed to use magic. Daria, help us. You're the assistant principal. Well, I... I don't know what to do. Oh, being a grown-up is hard. Marlene, I need your help. Please! Spell gone wrong, reverse. Thunderstorm, disperse. I'm so sorry. I messed up and couldn't do anything right. That's not true, Daria. You did your very best. You were a great assistant principal. Our class can be difficult at times, even for a grown-up. Actually, I didn't like growing up so suddenly. Not like that. I'd rather take time to grow up. So for now, could I go play with everyone else, Marlene? Of course you can. <laughs> this way! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Our Daria. Wow, what kind of bird is that? A vanishing raven. Not much is known about them. <laughs> but they are known to be shy, so it's very important that we're quiet. Surrender, beast! You'll <gasps> never escape a hero! Could you please go and practice being heroes somewhere else? Can't you see I'm in the middle of some important research? Daria, join us! I want to play too! Us too! <laughs> <laughs> Great! Now I can't do my research! Meal time! Here! Hey, Daria, what's that? It's an invitation to a special school for highly gifted magic users. You will never leave us, right? I will. Then nobody will be able to distract me from my research. Sweeping, swabbing magic broom. Fly inside and clean my room. work either. Now, what was that other spell again? I haven't used it in a while. Don't make that face. The Immortal has a book on housekeeping. I'm sure it must contain some cleaning spells. We'll have you cleaned up in no time. So you just wait here. I will need to get into the school. How do I do that? Hmm, I don't exactly look like a princess. Oh, but I can become one. Mix some mushrooms from the glade. Brew some magic for this trade. I'm the princess, you're the witch. One, two, three, and now we switch. <sighs> ah! <gasps> What's going on? Baba Yaga must have done this. How will I get back into school like this? 
Aria, are you really leaving? Leaving? Of course not. I just got here. Uh, for class. Good afternoon, my dear students. It's time to begin class. Our topic today is reversal spells. I will need two volunteers. Pick me. Could I be reversed first? And me. Second to first, reverse. Uh. Uh. Anyone else want to try? Me next. Second to first. Uh. Reverse. Uh. Oh. Daria, that wasn't very nice. Careful, Daria. <laughs> it's Baba Yaga. What is she up to? I've got this. Second to first, reverse. There. Such mastery of the lesson. Did you see that? Second to first, reverse. <laughs> Second to first, reverse. Second to first, reverse. Now then, Baba Yaga has been persistent today in her attempts to break into the school. So if you could, please, stand guard tonight, Archie. <laughs> no offense, but I think you need a spring cleaning. I have an idea. I'll clean you right up, and you can help me with something. And now we're even. Thank you. Oh, I made it inside. Now I need to find that book with counter spells. Found it. No, not that one. There. This evil spell I erase to restore my one true face. This evil spell I erase to restore my one true face. Yes, it worked! <gasps> Fine. It's time to start looking for a couple of cleaning spells. <gasps> you should have stayed in the forest! <laughs> Sorry, but they don't teach magic in the forest. <gasps> What's all the commotion? She turned into me! And I can prove I'm real because I know today's lesson. What spell did we learn? <sighs> it was a reversal spell. What makes you think you can turn into my student? I'll send you somewhere so far away that you can't interfere with our lessons anymore. The moon! <laughs> Surrender, whoever you... aren't? I had a feeling that wasn't really Daria earlier. Well, admit it. Which of you is the fake one? <laughs> Lisa, hold on. I've got you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have always wanted to go to the moon. Daria, I'm sorry that we disturbed your research. How do you know that I'm the real one? Because our Daria wouldn't hesitate to save me. <laughs> you came to the moon too? It's not the moon, it's our forest. I wanted to scare Baba Yaga. And, on that note, second to first, reverse. Oh. 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 Hmm, you know, it's kind of nice. I could live on the moon. <laughs> Daria, I thought you wanted to go to that school. Our school is the only one that I want to go to. My friends and teachers make this the best school ever. <laughs> The Six-Legged Beast As in tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now, with my word. Oh, Helen, that spell is from a fairy tale. I doubt it will... Wow, it worked! They're going to write about us in the Hero News. And you had doubts. Well, some stories are based on reality. All right, Chubby, fly. I will visit you soon, I promise. Why don't we go together? After all, it's not safe to wander the woods alone. But we've already studied who lives in the woods. Like badgers and other animals. Such as birds. The only scary one there is Baba Yaga. <gasps> oh! Stop, Stiff. I'm still... No! 
now you can save me! From a reliable... <clears throat> from a not-so-reliable source, we have been recently informed of an incident. It appears that in the woods there may be... A monster with huge teeth that roars! Ooh! And three, four, maybe six legs? Six legs? Not six. Perhaps eight! Maybe more! In order to protect our students and Baba Yaga, we have placed highly effective protection traps within the forest to, well, trap, we hope, to capture the... The hundred-legged beast? The cause of this commotion. Mr. Immortal and I shall go to the forest to examine and confirm this recent phenomenon. Or to prove it wrong. Us too! Take us too! Watch out, thousand-legged monster! My dear future heroes, don't even think about it. To keep you all safe and inside, we will be placing a new spell on the windows and doors to keep them locked. Today's class shall be rescheduled to next Tuesday. Now then, where is that special rag of ours? The one that erases spells. Mm. Why did they leave all of us behind? Yeah. We'd have shown it a thing or two. I think it might be crying for help. You're right. The hungry monster wants us to help by being dinner. Not at all. Six-legged beasts are quite gentle. It might be in trouble. We have to help it. Helen, we've never studied six-legged beasts before. As far as we know, they only exist in fairy tales. So it's best to stay inside, away from the roaring. Chappy! No one believes me, but we have to help the six-legged beast. The professor uses this rag to erase spells from the blackboard. I'm sure it will also work on the locking spell. Thank you, Chappy. Brave men of Wondermont, forward! <laughs> and brave women, too. Hey, it's open. Helen! She escaped! Oh, no way! We have to go save her! And if we capture the monster, that's two heroic deeds! Yeah, so this is where that draft was coming from. It's fixed. No need to thank me. Just remember that I saved your lives, or you'd be in big trouble. According to the book I read, the six-legged beasts are very friendly and gentle. They only roll when they're in trouble. But where is it? Oh! I found it! Oh, you have a splinter. Let me help you. Please don't be scared, dear Six Paws. There, there. This will be quick, okay? Helen! Hey, monster! Release her! I, Vasco of El Dorado, challenge you to battle! Oh, no! Please stop! Wait, don't go! What about our heroic rescue? We've already checked most of the traps. So far, the only thing that we've caught is Baba Yaga's hut. Yes. I haven't found anything yet either. I am beginning to suspect that we may be the only ones here. Aside from the local fauna, did Baba Yaga make it up? Ah! Huh? Helen! Hold on! Let Helen go, or you'll be sorry! Ah! Got him! Now that we've caught him, our names will be in here... Ah! Tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now with my word. Quickly, Professor. Helen fell in the pit. And so did the monster we defeated? Maybe? No. He's no monster. He's a sweet six paws. Phenomenal. But we must count his legs to be certain. Four, five, and six. Clockwise, there are six. And... My, counterclockwise as well. It is most certainly an authentic Icelandish Hexapaurus. That's exactly right, Professor. An extremely rare beast and absolutely harmless creature. <laughs> In fact, they are so timid that nobody has ever tamed one before. I'll come visit you sometime. <gasps> it should be impossible, yet somehow Helen has tamed it. That is the power of her kindness. It makes the impossible possible. Your kindness truly knows no bounds. <laughs> I think that I will stay here. 
Oh, then you'll have even more chances to show me how kind and hospitable you are. Oh. Oh, dear. The Defenders. Uh, I feel so sleepy. You were the one who suggested we play longer. We could be sleeping right now, Dorma. We'll be in trouble if we get caught. I've received some dreadful news, Shh. Professor. There's been a disaster. The school run by my British colleague, Merlin, has suddenly vanished. <gasps> How awful! I hope the same thing doesn't happen to our school. I wouldn't be so sure, Professor. They are due to arrive at midnight. Let's greet them properly. Girls, what was that about? Don't you know? A terrible disaster befell another school. It's going to come here at midnight and attack our school. Oh dear. How frightening. Mr. Immortal and the Professor will stop them. What if the monsters tricked them somehow? They could sneak inside. What a terrible time for Marlene to be away. This is our school too. We must do our part to defend it, no matter what comes our way. <clears throat> All right, girls. Does anyone have any ideas? I do. As soon as they get here, I'll show them. <laughs> Absolutely not. We don't know anything about them. Whoever they are, rushing in headfirst is too dangerous. What if they're twice your size? Uh, what if Lisa conjured a pond on the front steps? Hmm. So they'll go away to avoid getting their feet wet? So that Helen can freeze it. <laughs> It'll be slippery. Then they'll fall. Good idea, Dorma. That'll throw them off balance and buy us some time. <laughs> then when they see our knights, they'll be frightened and run away. Sounds good, Daria. But I don't believe we have any knights to help us. Do we? I don't remember Wondermont having a night delivery service. Delivery in 30 minutes or your money back. <laughs> Actually, I've been reading some of next year's textbooks. It's no big deal. Only six in all. And I learned a very interesting spell from one of them. First of all, we must defend the most vulnerable parts of the school. That means the windows, the doors, and we need a sentry. But the most important thing is my magic spell. With these necklaces, we can bring the bears to life, and they will be our knights. Be ready for anything. We're almost done here. <gasps> They're here! Look, I'll bet that the small one is in charge and the tall guy is the dumb one, like in fairy tales. Girls, let's go. Lisa, go ahead. They have no idea what a slippery slope is in store for them. <laughs> Helen, it's your turn. Must be powerful magicians. Don't worry, we're powerful as well. Time to raise the bars. Living hedge from underground. Do the invaders where they're found. I don't understand what is happening. What's going on? I wish I had an answer. Something seems to be going wrong with the school. It appears that someone is trying to keep us out. The princesses could be in danger. Princesses? Like damsels? In danger. So you mean... in distress? I'll save you! We'll save you! Wait! Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Yes! Stronger than I expected. Let's hold hands. Time for the life giving spell. And no matter what, we must not stop chanting. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please What's that sound? Tonight. Oh. Oh. Mr. Immortal, sir! Please defend the school tonight. Come on, Bosco. This is our chance to be heroes. Oh, brave warrior, show your mind. You'd better surrender, sir. We can't be responsible for our actions. Professor, it seems that I have found a way to fight these bears. Simply tickle them. Oh, brave 
<laughs> now, girls, allow me to introduce you to Vasco Hi there. and Livon. Good evening. They were students at Merlin's Academy. But one of the students brought the school building to life, <gasps> and it ran off. So the boys have transferred here. That explains it. And we mistook them for wicked magicians. <laughs> now I see. So you protected the school. Well done. But you eavesdropped on our conversation. That's not good. And now, it's time for bed. Tomorrow we'll start a new chapter in our life at school. Oh. The Memento Box. Ladies, ta-da! Take a look at this. What is it? Is it some kind of loom? It's a time <laughs> machine. Not a bad guess, but no, let me show you. Thanks, Professor. Take a look at what I have here. This is my very own Memento Music Box. Oh, it's so beautiful! We made these when I was in school. It's a memento that reminds me of my dear friends. I'd love to make a box like that. It's the perfect school souvenir. Exactly. That is why we are working with this device. So you girls can make a memento box of your own. Yes, look. You arrange yourselves up here on the circle. Like so. Dressed elegantly. And it would be nice if you all planned on doing something original. What do you girls think we should do to make this memorable? What if we jump in the air? We can line up by height. We can do that and jump. Maybe the main thing is to show our best amazing selves. Hmm. Our best amazing selves. an uncommon dandelion like this one, a milk flower, and some rainbow berries. The brighter your hair, the brighter the memory will be. Common dandelion, uncommon dandelion. Milk flower, there we are. I think that should be about enough. And rainbow berries. Mm -hmm. Now let's turn my hair into rainbow stripes. Tomorrow I'll wake up with rainbow hair. <gasps> what happened? Why did my hair turn green? What am I going to do? I'll ruin the memento. No more than one berry, and I threw two in there. The fruit of the hermit tree can help to reverse any side effects. Okay, don't touch anything. I see. The hermit tree will help fix this. I need to go there. Lisa, time to get up. Lisa. Oh, no. <gasps> Girls, look. I think Lisa's gone somewhere. It's a map. It looks like an enchanted thicket. Whatever she's up to, it looks like Lisa's in danger. I mustn't touch anything with my hands or my feet. I'm looking for a comb. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. I'll be very careful. Thank you. Here it is. Yes, I know. I'm not allowed to touch anything in the Enchanted Gardens. I only need just one of your lovely combs. <laughs> Oh, dear. Can't you please make an exception for me? <gasps> now what do I do? My hair will be green forever. It's all my fault. The memento will be ruined. Girls, does anyone want some raspberries? Look how beautiful they are. Dorma, you can't touch anything here. Didn't you see the warning? Just 
I'm very... <laughs> when you are told not to touch anything, don't touch anything! Run! <laughs> Get a crown! No way, Lisa! You're not going back! By the way, why is your hair green? That's the point! I wanted rainbow-colored hair for the memento! It's supposed to be an amazing memory to be cherished! But my hair turned out not amazing! That's why I came to the forest to try and fix it! And we got scared and came to save you! Yes, and in the end, you saved us! Funny, isn't it? Yes, but I never got a chance to get a comb. Don't be upset, Lisa. We still have our friendship after all. Who wants a box anyway? Greeting cards are way better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, girls. I appreciate it. Don't worry. We'll figure out something for your hair, too. That's enough, Doria. Dorma, stay out of this. Doria knows what she's doing. Drink this. That should do the trick. But it might take some time to work. What if it just makes it worse? I could have green hair forever. Well then, I'll be green too. Yes! Sometimes I even dream that I have green hair. So we'll all be green. It'll be fun playing hide and seek in the bushes. <coughs> Very well then. Now let's go. Here come our princesses now. I'm sure that you've come up with something interesting. Apparently. At least Lisa certainly has. Well, are you ready? We did it! Mr. Immortal. How clever. What a bright idea. Whenever did you manage to make your hair so colorful? Training day. Oh, there's nothing quite like a nice cup of tea after a long day at the chalkboard, wouldn't you say? Oh, dear. Much obliged, Mr. Immortal. A message has arrived for you. It looks important, too. Oh. Hmm. The President of the Wondermont Administration has summoned us to a teacher training seminar. And it's tomorrow. Really? Teacher training? But I've been an exemplary educator for years. And you've been teaching since, uh... Forever. Exactly. So why do we need to go to a teacher training seminar? Why, it's all perfectly normal. There's no need to worry. No matter how long you've been doing a job, there's always more to learn. Marlene, go and tell the girls that we'll be leaving. We shall be on our way in the morning, bright and early tomorrow. No lessons tomorrow? Oh, no. Yes! Does that mean it's okay for me to stay in bed all day? No, Dorma. It means we should spend the day outside where we can practice our magic. No, Rooney. You know the rules of the school. There's to be no magic while the teachers are away. Aww. Good night, girls. Good Sleep well. Good night, night. Marlene. Marlene. Thanks. I had a terrible dream. It's all right. It was just in your mind. You're safe now. You see? Oh, please help me. I'm falling into a big hole in the ground. Rooney, stop it. That wasn't funny. It felt so real. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm sorry, Dorma, but just look around. It's a perfect day. Nothing bad is going to happen. <laughs> oh, what's that? Girls, look. Check out the smoke over here. <gasps> it looks like my dream is coming true. We need to go and make sure everything's all right. <laughs> Have a nice trip, my naive little friends, while I finish my bottomless pit.
What's that, sir, on your hands? Just there. It looks like an ink smudge. It must have come off the scroll. How strange. Exactly. Wondermont ink shouldn't do that. May I see it? Could this ribbon be a strip of fabric torn from a piece of clothing? Hmm. Baba, Baba Yaga. Yaga. Goats, please take us all back home and fast. Girls, we've got to do something. I can stop her. No, no magic, remember? <gasps> How do we stop Baba Yaga without magic? I've got it! Baba Yaga! <gasps> That's enough! It's me, the Immortal! Stop what you're doing and run! Or I'll make you disappear! <laughs> oh, your immortalness. I didn't expect you back so soon. <laughs> I know it's just you girls. And I know the school rules. No magic while the teachers are away. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Baba Yaga! That spell you're casting! Uh, are you sure you're doing it the right way? But of course! <laughs> I know what I'm doing! I fear you made a small mistake! Just uh, look! What? It says right here! Stop talking! <laughs> oh! Uh, oh! So sorry! You little pest! Let me help you! Go. Yes! Nice Go. catch! What is going on? Not good. We must find Baba Yaga. This way. Oh! Now I've had enough. We need our magic. The school is about to collapse. <gasps> Daria, we can't use magic. We break the rules or lose our school. Stop that! You're messing up the spell! Whoa! Oh! No! My book! Oh! Oh, oh hot! Let me cool it down for you. Looks like you froze me out! But I'll be back! Wow, so cool! Well done, girls. You saved the school. <gasps> my voice! It's finally back! I'm sorry. We broke the rules of the school. Yes, which is more important than the school rules sometimes. So you won't punish us? <gasps> no. You are all brave wizards and deserve a real day off to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Squirreled away. 28, 29, 30. Time's up. Ready or not, here I come, girls. All right, then. You did. Uh. You never would have found me. It's only because I sneezed. <gasps> Tag! Got you, Lisa. <laughs> have you tried over there yet, Rennie? Tag! Got you, Doria. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's a squirrel. It's so cute. Did you think I'd take your pine cone? <laughs> I don't eat them. I'd rather have candy, like this. It's all right. There's nothing to be scared of. Hide and seek. Ooh. Watch out, Rooney. I'm safe. 
I win, girls. Dorma, you really are something. We were so worried. We almost called the immortal. Where did you go? <laughs> I cannot share my secret, all right? But you really vanished. Very well, then. I'll show you. Come on. Here we are. This is where you hid? It's pretty open. What is this? <laughs> Dorma! Dorma? <laughs> Not quite, dearie. Daria, activate! I've got it. All right, stop. Oh! Oh! What's wrong with me? I've turned to stone and I'm frozen now. Nice one, Daria. Nice, Daria. Not quite. <gasps> Fooled you. <laughs> Your spells won't work this time. <laughs> I've got you now. <laughs> There's no escaping from Baba Yaga. If only I had a protective amulet. So what? A house on chicken legs. Now what do I do? Wasn't there a spell about untying knots? How did that go? Was it untie? Unwind? Yes, that's it! Twirls and binds, now unwind! Please, hut. <laughs> Let me go. It's not that important for you, is it? to live with me. I've decided to make a school. There are so many things I can... Hey, are you listening? <laughs> Cut that out. If you behave like good little princesses, I'll let you out of the balloon. On holidays. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Smells like a human. Now, let's see. Look who it is. <laughs> You escaped. What a useless hut. I can't trust her to do anything. Be gone, old crone. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> That's not a spell. No spell <sighs> ends with leave me alone. How ridiculous. All those childish rhymes are useless. Oh. Hey, you. Stop. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Come back, you thief. Boom. Oh. You, you helped us out of a tricky situation. Uh, twirls and binds, now unwind. <laughs> Go! Oh, good work! Oh, no, it's not just right right But it wasn't me. This little one is who you should thank. <gasps> a swirl! Oh, well That's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> hey, where are you going? What about me? Please, get me down from here. I won't do it again. <laughs> Tired and tested. Tomorrow, I will be giving a lesson on the three-headed dragon. We'll study its head and the way it flies and breathes fire. <gasps> Three-headed dragons. Awesome. The topic's complex, so tomorrow you need to be attentive as well as involved. After all, the director will be watching us. The director will watch us. Ah, the immortal, huh? Then I'll make sure he remembers it. <laughs> It was just a dream.
dream. The sun is up. Time for class. Get up, girls. Oh, wait a minute. Where is everyone? We have to hurry. The sooner we start, the more we'll learn about dragons. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Immortal. Good morning to you, girls. Hmm. What fine enthusiasm. <gasps> oh, girls. Uh, good lesson this morning. Uh, I mean, let's uh, begin now. You're going to do just fine. Don't worry. I've dreamed of seeing one of these my whole life. Uh, I'm afraid at stage one, Rooney, we only study how to fly dragons using miniature copies. What? When do we use real ones? Rooney, we're only at stage one. Please be patient. We use miniature copies to ensure that everyone remains safe. Mm, yes, safety. That's right. Let's start with just one dragon. The recipe's easy enough. Two drops of flame plant juice, along with moonlight dew, combine and mix well. But no more than one drop, or else you... <gasps> oh, no! No need to panic. Just a small recipe mistake. <laughs> That's right. Remain calm. Sweet and obedient creatures. Oh, these creatures are rather annoying. They're more like dragon flies. Yes, a regrettable error, but reversible. <sighs> oh no, Mr. Immortal. I'll do it. Tornado. Uh, everything's under control. Oh. oh no, good heavens. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, oh my, what is going on? <clears throat> Marley. These are impressive special effects. However, it hasn't been the most successful lesson. To be honest, it hasn't been successful at all. I can see that you tried, but it is difficult material. Hmm. Professor, I wonder, would you teach the lesson? Aren't these dragons your specialty, sir? May I please try one more time tomorrow, sir? You see, I... I didn't sleep last night. I had nightmares all night long. Please. No, he's not going to let her. But what if he does, and she has another hard night? And then what? If she doesn't sleep well again, things could get even worse. <sighs> oh dear, poor Marlene. Oh, she's restless. Looks like she's having nightmares again. I know. Let's help her sleep tonight. How? We can make her some good dreams so she can rest. Just a moment. Let me find the right frequency. Yes, I think I caught her dream. I knew it would work. Let's go. What's the hat for? It's a special dream mixing hat. Basically, it transmits dreams. Think of a good dream, and I'll go to sleep. Then I'll transmit the dream to Marlene. Okay, we're inside her dream now. <gasps> it looks dreadfully gloomy. Yes, no wonder she can't sleep. I'll make the first dream for her. Everything must be bright and colorful, with lots of pretty gowns and music to dance to. very happy anymore. I've got it. We'll add some sheep. Oh dear, it didn't work. Oh no, this is frightening. That's it. I'm going to enter her dream now. What is this? You're the one ruining our dreams. Uh -huh. Now I've got you. Little wrecker of dreams, fly far away and take your nightmares with you. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Good morning. You look wonderfully well rested. Oh, why, thank you, sir. I finally feel well rested. So now, the three-headed dragon lesson should go perfectly well. 
Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. 